All right, good morning, Sight Friends. This is the Bitty Man coming at you again from Walk Studio back here in Studio B and C. And we thank God for the journey. We thank Him for life, health, and strength. Thank Him for His wisdom to the ears. Uh, we want to say to all the Sight Friends and Inner Circle individuals this morning that this is all Bitty Man Reflections, y'all. I, uh, it's early morning. It's right about. Five, ten after six right now as of me recording this video and uh, I uh, I went to Facebook earlier and I saw some things that uh, I was quite proud of and I it made me reflect back to my junior college days and uh, when I was going to Andrew College in my hometown of Cuthbert, Georgia those some of you are local I know y'all know what I'm talking about some of you that might be in far distant land you may know something about cup I'm not certain but nevertheless that is home and I am not ashamed of my hometown um it was there that I started my journeys my musical journey and I wanted to say to everyone that I when I made the post on Facebook earlier it's about what my classmate they used to call me this, and they they gave me a nickname, and they named me Lionel. And the, the and, uh, matter of fact, I had a one buddy, and I surely do um, wish that I could get in contact with him again. Um, his name was William Strickland, and we went to Andrew College together, and uh, he was a good buddy of mine. You know, God knows there's some things that transpired. Matter of fact, uh, William was the one that started calling me Lionel. And then it just caught on all over the college because of the fact that everybody knew me. And they knew what I was. They knew what I was about. They knew I was a music major. And the reason they knew that was certainly because every time they would see me, I was at a piano. I was doing something musically every time they saw me. I would either be in the fine arts building playing that big nine foot concert grand they had in there, Steinway. I would, if I wouldn't be in there, I would be in the main building because I had the keys to everything, just about it. And uh, I would be in the main building and uh, at the main auditorium. And I would be in the auditorium playing that baby grand that was on the stage in the auditorium. So everywhere they saw me, everywhere, under the student seat, saw me, they, that's what I was doing, playing the piano. I was very passionate about the piano. In other words, uh, I started playing piano people late in, in my life. I didn't start when I was three and four like most kids. I didn't, I didn't start that early. I was, I was, matter of fact, I was might as well say I was just about, I was fully grown because I was out of high school. I was out of high school before I even took my first piano lesson. I took my first piano lesson. It was on Halloween, 1981. And uh, that's that's my first. That's when I took my first piano lesson right there at the college of Andrew. I started with her name was Constance Hunt. That was her name. She later became Constance Rowe because she met when I enrolled in school that second year after I was taking piano lessons. I enrolled at Andrew College, and the music professor there, his name was Jim Rose, and Connie and Jim married, and so then my piano instructor became Mrs. Rose. So that's how that happened, but it was my buddy, William Strickland, and along with all the kids, all the students there that knew me, and just about everybody did, at Andrew College, uh, they, call, they call me Lionel, and, old, and my buddy William, God bless him. My buddy William, he called, he gave me another nickname as well. He called me Harmony. Harmony Smurf. And y'all, those of you that are from this generation knows exactly who the Smurfs were back in them days. And w William is, also gave me the name Lionel, and he called me Harmony Smurf. So the reason why, because of my music indulgence. And I was I was heavily into music at that beginning, y'all. At that time, I was I was I was adamant. I was passionate about the piano. Needless to say, things happened, and as time went on, and 
uh, graduated from Andrew College in 84 and went on in Tiberi in Rome, Georgia. I stayed there another four years. It's concentrating in music and business. Nevertheless, the nick, the name still stuck. Lionel there, Harmony. They will call me the same thing. Why? Because of my involvement in music. Very passionate about music, y'all. And one thing about it is, like I said, I have no shame that I started late. In other words, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a concert pianist. I'm not a concert pianist. No. I never studied to be that. Um, in fact, believe it, I never did desire to be a concert pianist. I never did the desire to do that. I mean, I wasn't reared up with the taste for classical music in my mouth. I wasn't, I wasn't born with that in my in me. Nevertheless, musically, I was all, I was in a, I come from a musical family though because most of my people, my, my grandmother, all her brothers and sisters, and she had 10, just like I do. Uh, they all play guitar and sang. That was their heritage. They got that from my great grandma, my great granddaddy, I mean, which was their, my grandmama's daddy. And he was considered, I was told this, y'all, because I was too young. He died when I was three. He died in 1965. I was I was going on four years old that year. He died in June of 1965, and uh, so I didn't get the chance to hear him play and sing as well as other people. I I was told this by other people that he was uh, he was considered to be one of the best guitar players east side of the Mississippi River. That's what I've been told by people of old. But nevertheless, I know all of my my mama, my grandmama, all of her sisters and brothers, they could play guitar and they could sing. So I had the musical background. It was in my genes, as you would you could say, but I wasn't a classical pianist. I was not, a, well, I, I didn't study for a concert pianist. I didn't want to be, I didn't want to, I never wanted the line like y'all. I never, I didn't get into music for that reason. I know some people say, well, why did you get it? I got it for the love of music. That's what I got involved in music. Now, if you, uh, like I said, I don't, I, I wasn't a concert pianist, but now you put me in a classroom with any musician, I can hang with any of them. And this is not bragging, this is a fact. And when it comes to music theory and composition, I'm not afraid of no one. When it comes to the actual writing of music and the, and the knowing, the know-how, I'm not afraid of no one when it comes to that. I had great instructors, great outstanding instructors. One that automatically, I mean, I had all of my instructors was great, every one of them. My piano instructors, my music theory instructors, but the one that that that, that jumps out, that had them, I won't, I, Dr. Pepper had the most impact on my life, musically. That was one of my professors at Berry, Dr. Pepper. And Dr. Stan Pepper have written thousands of songs, y'all. Thousands. Not hundreds, but thousands of songs. And Dr. Robinson, he was a trumpet player. Dr. Pepper was a trombone man. And keyboardist, he was an excellent, outstanding pianist. Uh, but like I said, and then my piano instructor, Miss Rowell. Oh, my God. Now, she was a concert pianist. That was my piano teacher there. So this is how come I said many men were reflecting this morning. And like I say to my buddy, he was William Strickland and God knows or some things happened, transpired during my time there in Rome, Georgia. Uh, I, the, I, I lost contact with William. And uh, I, God knows this. It, I, I'm just going to take responsibility. And I hate it's some things that went down that friends shouldn't have to go through with. But nevertheless, y'all, when we when we get out there in the world and sometimes we forget who, who we are and where we come from. And I'm, I'll, I'll be the first to admit to everybody, when, when I left hometown, Andrew College and everything, and got to the four-year institution up in Rome, a lot of things changed about me. I done things which I knew wasn't right. I knew it because I was re I was real upright. 
And, but I did it anyway. I, in other words, I rebelled. And I started doing things that was not seemly for, for a Christian to do. And I did it. And like I said, one of the friendships I lost that I dearly, uh, I treasured. But when you get, when your head get in the streets, I tell y'all young people, be very careful. Be very careful because you can make some mistakes during that time that you'll regret for the rest of your life if you're not careful. So be careful as you make your decision and be be on, and and have honor to your friend because a friend will stick with you when your family may not. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. So make certain that you treasure your friends. And so like I said, I got a few friends from the past that things that I done it wasn't right and I know it. And but I can't change. I can't I cannot change the past. The only thing I know is that God knows that uh, I done things out of rebellion and ignorance because we get selfish in our desires and their fleshly lust will get you in trouble. The Apostle Paul told us that, y'all. So nevertheless, but my buddy William Strickland at that time, it was at Andrew, he's the one that started calling me Lionel. And everybody just took it because it fitted so well because I was always in the music building. I was always in the fine arts building. I was always in this auditorium. Every time they saw me, I was at the piano. Every time. Not one time, but every time they saw me, I was at the piano. Um, nevertheless, though, we thank God for the journey. I was going to do this as a live feed on Facebook, but Facebook having some issues, and I figured that I'd probably just be better off doing an offline video like I am doing. Nevertheless, this is Middle Man Reflection, y'all, and uh, we just saying that Middle Man will continue to write some music. I mean, I don't write enough as I should be writing. I was, I be thinking about my professor, Dr. Pepper, and like I told y'all, I had some great professors started at Andrew College, Dr. Jim Rose, head of the music department for me, and his wife, Constance. She was my first piano teacher as well. Uh, then I left there and went on to Barry, Dr. Robinson, Dr. Pepper, Mr. Raul, I mean, Dr. Clark, all of those. They were great, great in music instructors, great people, great people. Uh, and uh, that's those are the ones that shaped my musical career. And so when I left, and when I left Barry in '88, and went down into Atlanta, stayed in the Atlanta area. I wasn't really doing a lot of music at that particular time. I wasn't in the church playing, no. I didn't get started playing in the church until I came back home. And that was in 93. That was after a long tour. I mean, I did a tour in the military overseas. Got sick on my way to Desert Storm. I got sick in Stuttgart. I ended up in Stuttgart General Hospital, 5th General Hospital in Stuttgart, Germany. This is where they found my blood pressure was sky high. And uh, they had to do something quick. In other words, I mean, I was at the danger zone. But God saw fit. He brought me back to the States. And the rest is history, as I said here before you this morning. Went through a lot, got in the church, started being a church musician, using my skills and talents as a church musician, not a concert pianist. No, I tell people I'm not a concert pianist. Don't even desire to be one. But nevertheless, if you talk about com music composition and theory, I sit in the class with anyone. Anyone. That being said, this is the man in reflection. Reflections of a life that was have been well lived thus far. And I thank God for the people that I've met along the way. Some great people on both sides. The music side is the other side. And we are giving God all the praise and glory. So uh, with that being said, this is Middleman Reflecting, saying whatever you get, whatever you get into, God is not in it. Please, man, please, sir, come on out of it, because it's going to come to death. Until the next video, next Bible study, whichever comes first, this is Middleman saying peace and good morning.